Well, this morning we continue our community connection, sharing stories that are important to the place that you call home. This morning we're heading out to Pinellas County's Madeira Beach all day long, covering stories from the popular boardwalk there to local businesses and the need for more parking. Yeah, popular yeah. businesses bring a lot of people, right? Earlier this hour, we took a look at the many ways that you can explore the waters over Madeira Beach. Yeah, we're talking about Hubbard's Marina. They were ranked the best fishing charter in the country this year by USA Today for the third year in a row. But how did they get there? This morning we have 10 Tampa Bay. Sarah Rosario live out in Madeira Beach. Sarah, how did Hubbard's Marina become one of the best water-based recreations in our area? Well, Caitlin and Jameson get this. They were also recognized by USA Today as the third best boat tour in the country as well. Hubbard's Marina has nearly 100 years of history right here in the Tampa Bay area. And last year, last hour rather, we spoke to Captain Dylan Hubbard. His grandfather started the business back in 1928 in Paso Grill before making their way over to here at Madeira Beach. It's their dedication to fishing and providing a great experience that makes them one of the best. We're kind of the concierge of the water is how we like to say it, because it doesn't matter what you want to do. Day of fun in the sun, you can contact us and we can help you get a plan. Hubbard's Marina, we are a fourth generation family owned and operated business. We've been here in the area since 1928 when we started with rowboats and cane fishing poles. So when we started back in 1928, we actually started in Passa Grill because back in those days, Gulfport was kind of the main hub where people went and then they traveled from Gulfport across in a boat to the Barrier Islands, which then Paso Grill was kind of the hub. Same year, the Don Cesar opened, which was 1928, is the same year our family business started. And that's when my grandfather started taking folks who were staying at the Don Cesar and who were visiting the area out in rowboats for tarpon and mackerel and kingfish. And then in the 40s, we got our first combustion engine and things started to grow from there. We're coming up on our 100 year anniversary. Now we have a wide variety of boats that do all sorts of different types of fishing. Plus we do a little bit of everything in a bunch of different places. John's Pass is our home. It is part of our history. We moved here in the 70s. My grandfather was part of the team who helped build the boardwalk and making that possible. He worked with the city of Madeira Beach and got this project done. And the boardwalk is really what's been an instrumental part of helping to build John's Pass and bring tourism to John's Pass. What's special about Madeira Beach and John's Pass, and our new slogan is pretty special too. It's a mile long and a smile wide, right? This is a small beach community. We're a little bit different. It's just a different feel. And that's what's so unique about a region is you can go to these certain small geographic areas and get a totally different experience. And that's what's great about John's Pass as well. I mean, we don't have those big businesses. These are all family businesses. We're focused on the community, giving back to the community. Our family motto is you're too busy to go fishing. You're just too darn busy. My grandfather started that back in the day. We're very blessed to carry on that tradition, that legacy. And if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. And this is our lifestyle. This is our passion. I uh, love that energy there. And if you're looking for the endless fun on the water, you can check out everything they have to offer here right here at Hubbard's Marina. We have all the details listed on our website, 10tampabay.com. Jameson.